Hugh, what about saturation? <laughs> no, I, I, I can do better. Hugh, gotta be kidding me with this. <laughs> no, I can, I can do better. The amount of money I owe to the mafia is huge. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. And accurate, too. Okay, so today we're gonna be looking at Hue, a 2D puzzle platformer developed by Fiddlesticks, the League of Legends character. He made this game. I didn't even know he was into game design, but, you know, good for him. So in the game, you play as this guy, whose name is Hue. That's why the game is called Hue. Because this guy is called Hue, and he's the, he's the main character of the game, which is, which is called Hue. You understand what I'm saying? You're trying to find your mum, who is trapped in a university, so you gotta go get her. The game starts out, and you're on this black and white island, and the first thing you do is find this light blue rectangular thing that can change the background colour to light blue. And as you progress through the story, you find more of these coloured rectangular objects that can change the background colour. That's the main mechanic of this game, by the way, changing the background colour. And the more you progress through the game, the more colours you unlock, the more colours you unlock, the more puzzles you can solve, the more puzzles you can solve, the more ladies you can get it, have, acquire. The puzzle solving works like this. There are objects in the levels that you have to move or get past. Like, say there's a light blue block that you have to get past. What you gotta do is change the background colour to light blue and the block will blend into the background colour and cease to exist and you can just walk right through it. As a game mechanic, I think this is really cool. I don't want to say it's never been done before because I have no idea if that's true or not, but it does seem pretty unique. Obviously, the levels get more complicated than just walking walking past coloured blocks though. As the game progresses, new mechanics get introduced, like lasers, bounce pads that change colour when you bounce on them, and slime dispensers that shoot out coloured slime. But what's good is that the levels start out very simple. More simple than 1 plus 1, which as we all know equals... Uh... Ho hold on, I just got a... Uh... 2! 2! It's 2. It's 2. I knew that. The new mechanics in the more complicated puzzles get introduced to you very slowly, so when you are presented with one of the more complicated levels, you never feel unprepared. That being said, the levels can get pretty crazy. I mean, compare a screenshot from one of the early levels with a screenshot from one of the later levels, and they almost look like different games. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. But one thing that never changes, no matter which level you're on, is how pleasant this game is. And just so we're clear, that's pleasant, not relaxing. I came very close to using the word relaxing to describe this game, but then I remembered all those times I got killed by spikes and boulders and falling skulls in the later levels. Yeah, I don't consider death to be relaxing. But I do think this game is pleasant. Obviously, the use of colour is awesome, not just in the gameplay, but visually too. I think this is the most colourful game I've ever played. And the art style is really nice too. It's simplistic, but detailed where it needs to be detailed. And the little breaks between the puzzles where you just run along a path and listen to a message your mum left for you whilst nice relaxing piano music plays, I found really sweet and endearing. So... Yeah, that's kind of it. That's, that's Hugh in a nutshell. It's not a very long game, I finished it in about three and a half hours, but to be fair, I didn't really go for any of the collectibles, and there are a fair amount of collectibles, so just finding those could probably buy you another hour or two. The story isn't super complicated, although like I said, the messages your mum leaves you are really sweet. Every time you discover a new colour, she tells you a little story or fact about that colour, you know, it's cute shit. And I feel like I've said enough about the gameplay already, Ready, so yeah, I'm sorry if it feels like I'm cutting this video short, but I feel like I've said all I need to say about Hue. It's a fun, simple game with tricky yet imaginative puzzles, nice visuals, cute story, relaxing piano music. Yeah, I'm just repeating myself at this point. And it is short, but it wasn't like I left the game feeling unsatisfied. I think it's like as long as it needs to be. So that's you. I like it. And I like you. I mean, kinda. It, you're okay, I guess. Hugh, better believe I'm giving this game a good score. <laughs> Hugh, better believe I'm giving this game a good score. <laughs> you better fucking believe I'm giving this game. <laughs>